does winning mean to you within paying it forward? Having paid it forward, how will you win? Yes, please. One of the things we haven't talked about at all, I'm just bringing it down to a personal level. It's of childish fun, if you know what I mean. A snowball fight, there's something childish and silly, but, but fun about it. It's that energy that keeps us going when the times really get tough. So um, because I'm running out of time, I'm just asking you all. I mean, I think that um, uh, the way I'm feeling at the moment, it's, it's the sort of the banter, if I can call it that, the interactions, the inspiration that comes from listening to everybody's stories. I'd kind of be throwing my snowballs in a playful way amongst the, the, the wider network that, that's here in the room. But just to be aware of, of where you would perhaps be throwing metaphorical snowballs in terms of what gives you that kind of childish sense of fun, that, you know, it's the free fun. We've come a very, very long yeah. way. Yeah, Sarah, did you get that? Because I, I think did. that that's very important. Absolutely. You know, when we see the ripple effects um, as living, breathing creatures growing up and passing it on to the next generation again, not just gender specific to women, but as a growing global community operating from that place of creative collaboration, we can see that the movement has taken hold and um, become more ingrained into the culture and mindset of us as a global community. Um, and we, we had that, that um, description of winning, uh, you know, with the pots of gold as being when we see somebody we've helped helping somebody else. And I think that that, that as well is quite a good um, measure, if you will, for the effect of our, of the, uh, of the credit we, we pass on when we pay it forward. How are we going to, oh, please. Perhaps you can extend, extend your answer into this question too. Somebody's got a mic on. Hey, please, could you switch your mic off so this lady can speak? And then we'll come back to you. Oh, didn't you just need to push your button, actually? Just push your button on your microphone. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hi. I was just going to say, when I think of the notion of winning, it would be when either Dwen doesn't need to exist or Dwen is just here for us to get, get together and have a good time because we're not thinking about gender as being a, a determining factor in our success. And we like to spend time with other women so we could keep coming here and visiting amazing countries like Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, but that we wouldn't have to, and support each other, but that that wouldn't be one of the main things we thought about when we thought about our success and building our business and, and building our careers. And um, one of the chants that was being chanted over and over again up to Taksim Square over the, um, the Saturday that I was there was, we're not going to quit until we win. We're not going to quit until we win. Um, which I won't, well, I will repeat how I translated it as being it was... No. I won't actually... Um, because I didn't understand the Turkish, but this, this ongoing need to keep building on this momentum to make sure that we don't give up until we've actually built it into our second nature, until it's become our, our breathing as such. How are we going to achieve this? Hi. Um, I know that in the Western culture, we don't talk a, a lot about death. In China, we are actually quite free to talk about this. And I think very often of taking a blank paper of this format and thinking of this as if this is my death stone. This is going to be the things I'm going to put on my death stone when I die, when I leave this country. And um, when, when you leave, the only thing you have is people who love you. You don't have anything else you can take with you. It's just people who remember your, um, your journey. So paying forward, uh, how to win, uh, how to be happy about helping others. It's actually, if you can clearly define what you want to see on this paper, and that, then this is all natural. You don't need to make a principle of making a reminder in your calendar to remind you. And, and, and exactly, and as, and as individuals, we all need to get very clear about what it is we want written on our death stones as such. What is it that we're leaving behind and how are we taking action to make that story a reality in hindsight afterwards? Um, 
So how, how are you all as individuals going to successfully pay it forward? What are you going to do? What are the actions that you're actually going to take? And um, in taking that actions, you know, what are the actions that you're going to take now, next, today, this afternoon, right this minute even, you know, are the things that we can start to do immediately to really help us build upon this momentum that we're, um, it's been ignited, you know, we've had that, those candles have all come to light here in this room, now we've got to go out and light some more candles um, to just add to our light, you know, as, as was, was re-quoted so beautifully, we're not diminishing our light, if anything, it's brightening. So please get clear about your own personal action steps. We don't want this to just be a whole load of words into a room full of inspired ears, you know. And of course, who can actually help us achieve this? We've seen time and time again, we know that we can't do this on our own. Obviously, we're all here to help each other, but outside of the network, who can we bring in to add extra momentum to this? And again, for each of you as individuals, this might be, be different, but are there any perhaps contributions that anyone would like to voice? Or can we just start to get clear about these answers in our own heads so that we know who we're going to start to reach out to and, and invite into the movement by means of adding energy to it? So we'll share it on the Twitter feed and later tonight or tomorrow if you want to go in and actually add to it You can log in really easily um, on your Facebook page so we can keep this going and um, Keep it real time. Yeah, absolutely The poplar is wonderful because you can click any of these boxes and add your comments directly to them So, you know, please do go and find that I'm sure the link has been sent out on Twitter in various different places and can be made available. Um, there was a few great ideas that came out of there, you know, the, the Dwen dating site as such, the need to make this as a sort of portal that we can all connect to through each other more easily and kind of monitor those ripple effects as such so that we add a bit of structure to this context of paying it forward. These are perhaps ideas that need some further development and working on. Um, I hope that this has helped you to evolve your ideas a little bit further. Um, congratulations to you all for completing your first weather forecast brainstorming session. Um, I'm certainly having some tremendous results with this tool. Um, we solved a problem that a research and development team had been working on for two and a half years in 15 minutes. Um, the Welfare to Work program in the UK operates on a 3.2, uh, I think it is, um, success rate after a six week program. I currently have a 16.8% success rate after a two-hour brainstorming session by giving people that ability to see their situation differently and to re-establish their own sense of responsibility over their own actions. Um, the CEO of the United Nations Association, the charity that supports the UN um, in the UK, he said that it was by far the most efficient and easy and engaging tool that he'd ever come across in terms of dealing with complex situations so as to see those simple solutions moving forward. I have just literally about three or four days ago published on Amazon the weather forecast ebook. It's a um, tool which I've sort of evolved over a lifetime, to be honest with you. I came across Edward de Bono's six thinking hat theory as a young child my father's then business partner was studying um, Edward de Bono's six thinking hats and I found the whole thing fascinating but could never quite remember what hats went with what colour and so in that way modified it to these metaphors of the weather and when people talk about balanced thinking and balanced brains the weather is such a naturally you know self-balancing um, ecosystem that if we start to replicate that in our own minds I strongly believe that we start to broaden our perspectives bring our collective conscience together and increase our brain power as a whole so thank you all very much I would love you to um, check out the weather forecast book at the moment it's listed at the 
lowest price it can possibly be due to the download fee. It's quite a large file, but so friends and family could get it and so that I could offer it to you guys before I put the prices up next week. So thank you all very much for participating in this brainstorm. I hope you've enjoyed the exercise and thank you to Sarah for her amazing work building the mind map. Can we see the old yep. overall big mind map? So within that, we've got all sorts of different comments that come out. So by all means, spend a little bit of time exploring that and seeing these ideas. And I hope that that's helped you to formalize a little bit more about what actions you can take to support and empower your own business and your own self-esteem and belief going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We now